The Daryl Brooks trial may not be six months away after all, and it may not even be held in Waukesha County. Our Brett Lemoyne live tonight at the courthouse with an approaching deadline that could have a big effect on the Waukesha Christmas Parade case. That's exactly right. The trial was originally scheduled for the month of October, but now the defense has until 4 p.m. on Friday to file a motion to postpone the trial, and all indicators show they are expected to do that. Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. As what was supposed to be a three hour long hearing stretched well into Tuesday afternoon. This is a request by the defense. Even defendant Daryl Brooks appears impatient. He faces 77 charges, including six counts of homicide after prosecutors say he drove through Waukesha's Christmas parade last year. The purpose of this hearing? The defense asked to privately draft 100 questions to determine potential jurors. There are many questions that reference family. Do we need to define that for the jurors or change that to immediate family? Those questions could help show if an impartial jury can be selected in Waukesha County. We've submitted them under seal. We're asking that they be remaining confidential with the jurors. But the whole issue may end up in some initial discussions with the defense counsel that they'd be looking to delay this case one year or more. Being for nothing. The October trial date is likely very unrealistic for us to be prepared. Just a few short weeks after setting a false start, Brooks's attorney tells Judge Jennifer Doro six months isn't enough time to prepare for such a big trial. Even District Attorney Sue Opper expects to spend at least a week presenting the state's case. Slenderman, we had one victim. In this case, we've identified almost 100 victims and thousands of witnesses to this event. And Judge Doro also said she may rule on a change of venue on Monday as well. Reporting live in Waukesha, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Brett, thanks for the update there.